Mike in St. Louis. What's up, Mike? Yeah, I'm calling just to see what uh, you, know, you think about this new commissioner of baseball. Who, Is Manfred? Gonna... Huh? I, I, I haven't seen him do anything yet. It's a little early. I mean, uh, they got to give him some time to spread his wings. Uh, Manfred's been... Uh, been around a long time. He's been through a lot of the labor wars. He's been through a lot of the stuff. He knows, you know, where the bodies are buried. He knows what's going on. Let's give him a chance to kind of be his own guy here. Let's, uh, you know, I think it's a little early to, to pass any judgment. Let's see what's going on. Got to give him a little time here. Do you think he's going to, uh, you know, maybe bring, you know, some really neat stuff like nine game series or, you know, dead ball or anything like that? What? Yeah, you know, like uh, some changes to baseball that might change the record books, things like that. What are you talking about? I'm just talking about, I, I, um, you know, like you, you going want, to a nine-game World Series. Why would they we do that? Did. Why would we do that? Uh, to change the game, make it why? more interesting. Why would that make it more interesting? Why wouldn't it make it more interesting? <sighs> no. Isn't that what you'd like to see? You called up to ask if they would change the series to a nine-game series. Well, you sat on the phone for an hour for, to do to do that. You really must have some serious time on your hands. Ryan East Chester, what's up, Ryan? Hey, Mike, how are you? Good. Good. So, uh, the horse was from Schenectady. Excuse me. The horse, the eighteen horse, was from Schenectady. You're losing me. I don't know what you're saying. And from Belmont, the one who won. What horse are we talking about now? The one that won Belmont. What Belmont? The Belmont. Stakes. The Belmont Stakes hasn't happened yet. Oh, okay. Then I'm lost, but go ahead. Yeah, back. you are completely no, 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 lost. Mike, Mike, I mean, completely. Thanks. Wait, you think they've run the Belmont Stakes this year already? That's what someone told me. It's really? Connected. The 18 horse. She wants me to put money on it. it. That's the horse. You think that someone, you, you think they ran the Belmont Stakes already this year? That's what someone told me, and I'm wrong. Well, wait a second. Uh, so you've never watched the horse race, then? I've watched it. I've Did you watch the Derby on Saturday? I go a uh, Meadowlands. Uh, Did you watch the Derby on Saturday? Oh, the Derby was 18 from Schenectady. I don't know what you're saying. What are you Who saying won? about... Where was the horse from? Who won? From Schenectady? What are you talking about? Schenectady, New York. What horse from Schenectady? Who won the race, Mike? A horse from California. Oh, okay. I'm in LA, but anyway. Wait, 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 listen, when you get back from Mars, call us, okay? Okay, yeah, okay yeah. please. Jimmy in Rockaway Beach, what's up, Jimmy? Hey, how's it going, Mike? Yeah, what's happening? Uh, I was just wondering, what do you think about if the Giants release Coughlin and the Jacksonville Jaguars pick him up? Do you think that they can make a playoff push? They looked good last week against Denver. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Uh, it, it, on a day like this, it's a nice day outside, right? Yeah. Are you home today? Um, are yeah, I'm home right today? now. Are you, are, you, are, you, are you a student? Are you employed? Are you a, what, what do you do? What do you do? I'm actually a student, but I You're was student. watching no, listen, this guy listen, 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 you got to, you got to, uh, listen, yeah, are you a high school student, college? What are you doing? Um, where do you go to school? I'm a college student. You're a college student. You actually got into a college? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. I got into uh, one. Now listen, listen, there's got to be a, is there a book near you right now? Is the, can you see a book where you are right now? If there is, read it, please. Okay, please. Do us all a favor. Mike in Mohegan Lake, what's up, Mike? Hey, Mike, how are you? What's happening? I got a scenario for you. Just, I just want to I want to see what you would say. You're the Yankee brass that makes the decisions at the end of the year. A-Rod's got two years left on his deal, $30 million a year. He gives you It's not $30 average, million a year, but go ahead. It's $30 million well, for three. It's $60 million for three years. Okay, whatever the case may be. Yeah. After three years, he gives you an average of 275 batting, 25 home runs, 90 RBIs, on base of about, we'll say 550. We'll play in the whoa, middle whoa, there. Whoa, 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 whoa. On base of 550? What are you talking about? I'm, I'm sorry, not on base. I, I meant the other, the other stat. Wait, wait, wait. Forget the stat. a -Rod's not knocking in 90 runs this oh, okay, year. Okay, but wait a second. Wait a second. You're the GM for the Yankees. Right, what's your point? At the end of that contract, right. do you offer him any kind of contract? You're kidding, aren't you? What do you mean, I'm kidding? How so old Johnny, will he be? Who would do better than him how in that old? spot? Wait, first, 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 first of all, how old do you think he would be at that point? He's going to be about 41 or 42, and but I'm not telling you a one-year deal. A uh, one-year deal. You wouldn't uh, offer They wouldn't offer him a one-day deal. They wouldn't. First of all, 
first of all, your numbers are crazy. Do you know how few guys average 2590 three years in a row in this era, the last couple of years of baseball? You're going to have a guy in his 40s do it? Average 2590? What is the oil being pumped to have to do with the franchises? In, in within like five to ten years, they're talking about America. We could be oil self Right. So, but well, wait, what is the, the, the those are companies are already in business? You think they're going to do what with that money? They're publicly owned companies. They can't buy ba- football teams. No, but in cities that get built up around the area and things. what? Where? And give me a town. Give me a give me a name. Not nowhere yet, but it you know out well, in North Dakota. South you wait. You think you're going to see an NFL team in North Dakota? Possibly. You yeah. wouldn't. You wouldn't see a. You would if I let you live here for 300 years. You wouldn't see an well, NFL well, team built in North Dakota. But, but, uh, North Oklahoma, Dakota. Oklahoma, Oklahoma City. Tol- no, you know. North Dakota. North Dakota. <laughs> Do you have any people live in North Dakota? Not the co- Why don't we just plop a team down in the middle of, you know, one of those grand national parks, okay? That's about how many we we'll let the Bears go to the game. North Dakota? That's the call of the year. We're going to put an NFL franchise in North Dakota. I got it now. There you go. Dan in Warwick, what's up, Dan? Uh, hey, Mike. Uh, I just got a, uh, a question about the Giants. Uh, in your years of experience, have you ever seen, uh, you know, this, how the San Francisco Giants were once the New York Giants? Has, has there ever been either a franchise to franchise or maybe even player to player get together when San Francisco comes to New York? Like, do they ever say hi? Maybe uh, I don't know, go out to dinner or something. Uh, oh, I don't know what, you're, what are you talking about. Is there ever any interaction when the San Francisco Giants come to New York or vice versa? The San Francisco like, Giants it, come to New York and do what? Have a game. Uh, you know, play they, ever, the, like, they play against the Mets, and what do you want to happen now? Did the, did the New York Giants ever reach out to them, either the players or the franchise? The football you know, Giants? They, yeah, the football Giants. Well, what is the co- connection between the San Francisco Giants and the football Giants? Well, they used to be in New York, and they got the same name. But they have they have nothing to do with each other though. They, there's no connection. Then they have different ownership. They, there's no connection between the two teams. I mean, there's no connection in any way between the two teams. They have no relationship. Do you think because they're giants, they're like brothers or something? That might be the weirdest question I got in a long time. I mean, that might, and and I think that's an honest question. That might be the strangest question I got in a really long time. Uh, Nick in New Jersey, what's up, Nick? Hey, Mike. Uh, I was just wondering with the. Uh Yankees and uh, just baseball in general, do you ever see a team going undefeated in the regular season that being as dominant as the Pats and the Dolphins where they run the table? 162 and 0? Yeah, like a team being that dominant. Do you think that could be that could happen in baseball? Yeah, you're, you're not serious, are you? No, like we, we've seen... So what are you saying? Wait, you, you, wait, wait, for- have you seen anybody come close to 162 and 0? Well, didn't the Yankees at one year come okay. 120? And okay, wait, 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 wait. The Yankees didn't win 120. They won 111 in the regular season. But still, they're only 50 games away. 50, not a game, 50 games away. Yeah, but they had 110 wins. They were right. they were good, but they weren't as dominant as the Patriots or other teams what? that have. Wait, wait. Both uh, running the table. So you think a team that you're comparing winning 16 games to winning 162? Well, obviously football has less games. They couldn't have won more games. They, they, but the football has more, less games, really. Hey, how you doing, Mike? Uh, I got a quick question about the Knicks. I was wondering, uh, what do you think about uh, Vince Lombardi? As the head coach, I really think he can make a big difference for them. What do you think? Wait a second. You actually, uh, you called up to ask me. Yeah. Is that, Mike, let me ask you something. Yeah. Let me ask you something. Well, I was wondering. When you got uh, out of bed this morning, when you got out of bed this morning. Yeah. Did, did you work today? Yeah, I'm working you go, now. Are you I working now? What, what, do you, what do you do for a living? Actually, I'm a fireman. You're a fireman? Yeah. You're a fireman? Yeah. Where? I'm a volunteer fireman. You're a volunteer fireman? Yes. Are you working right now? No, I don't work. 
Oh, you're unemployed? Yeah, I lost my job the other day. You lost it the other day? And a guy, uh, yeah. So, mean, so you decided, instead of going looking for a job, you decided to call up and ask me if a deceased coach would be a good coach for the Knicks. What? I didn't know he was deceased. Listen, th 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 I mean, really? I'm on unemployment. You well, know? yeah, yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm not surprised if you don't, I mean, you know, really, I'm not surprised. I hate to tell you. George in Westchester. What's up, George? Freddie? Freddie, is that you? Oh, God. I mean, you got to have something more important to do on Sunday morning than to bother me with that stuff. Joe in Far Hills. What's up, Joe? Hey, Mike. Uh, I was going to ask a Yankee question, but I just wanted to know. I know, obviously, today you were preempted again for this uh, Champions League. Have you been uh, kind of getting into this at all, like uh, trying to follow it at all? I mean, you, there's some pretty good games out there. Are you talking about the soccer? Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty good tournament. It's the end of the tournament, the, yeah, the most competitive stages. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I mean, so, you know what? Uh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. There was a 6-1 game today. I mean, that's pretty good. Have you tried to look into it at all? No, I, God, I, have, stars, no, I have no interest. Thank you. Do, you. do your kids watch it at all? Watch soccer? Yeah, like I you hope know, not. FIFA on the PlayStation. They I play hope with not. SD. I mean, he's very popular with kids. He is? You should give it a shot. I mean, it's a pretty it's a pretty entertaining tournament. Wait, soccer's exciting. Listen, maybe so if soccer's exciting on TV, you know what? I've, I've, I haven't yet grasped that if it's exciting I mean, they're preempting you for it, so you should well, listen, at least try and look listen, at it. I mean, listen, it listen, wait a second. I'm doing a radio show during the day. You think I have time to watch the TV show that's on when, when I'm on? Do you think that's what I do is watch the TV show? When well, I'm, you can when I'm doing a show? show on in the background. So, is that, so you think what I do is during the show is I watch uh, the other TV shows while I'm, I'm watching another TV show while I'm on? No, what I'm saying is you're the best that there is. So you can obviously watch uh, the uh, game while you're talking to these mongrels calling in about... You Joe, know, this. Joe, give it a rest. Give it a rest, really. I don't know what your point was, but it was ridiculous from the start. What's up, Carl? How you doing, Mike? Is everything all right? Yeah, good. First time caller, Mike. Uh, how you doing? Good? I'm good, yeah. Uh, I'm doing good, too. Uh, how was your vacation? Uh, right, we get, we get to a point, and now that we've figured out how I'm doing, what, what would you like to get to? Well, I was on vacation the same week as you were. We went down a great adventure and everything. What'd you guys do? All right, well, I, 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 what's on your mind, Carl? Well, I just wanted to know how you were doing, because, you know, you know everybody says how you doing, and is there, really is, there a, is, there a, is there a point here, Carl? I just want to know what you did on vacation. How you doing? I'm doing fine, thanks. Now, what else you want to talk about? Just want to let you know I'm doing good, and I hope you're doing good. I went down a great adventure on vacation. What you guys do? You want to say something more clever than that, or you want to leave now? Uh, I think I'm good. Okay. I, that was a wonderful call. Ryan and Hoboken, what's up, Brad? Hey, what's going on, Mike? First time, long time. Yeah. Um, I was just wondering if you had a chance this weekend uh, at ESPN uh, or the uh, Classic. You know, it was like ma three major storylines going on there. First off, the uh, no appearance KVD, first time in 13 years. Uh, the weather played a major factor, and the hometown hero ended up winning. I was wondering if you got a chance to catch it. And, uh, I don't know what you're talking. What are you talking about? <laughs> the uh, Bassmaster Classic. The what classic? Bassmaster Classics. The Bassmaster Classic. Yeah. Are you talking about fishing? Yeah. Oh, uh, no, I might have missed that. So, uh, okay. who won? Uh, the hometown hero, uh, guy, uh, guy from South South Carolina, young guy. Uh, right. He he, uh, he took it away. It was he was the favorite. And what did he get? And what did he do? <clears throat> oh, he won. He he, uh, he got the uh, the three day average uh, lead. Uh, I think uh, he took away about forty nine pounds worth of bass. Oh, uh, good thing. I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled by that. So uh, I'm glad. So maybe next time I can catch that. Chappie in New Canaan. What's up, Chappie? Hello, Mike. What's I'm, happening? Uh... <laughs> What's up? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm here. I'm here. Let's go. I'm here. You got to go. Let's go talk. Hello? Mike? Yes, go. Go talk. Hey, how are you? Good. Thank you. you. Absolutely. Hello? Mike. Yes, go. Would you start speaking? Yes, I will. Uh, 